kind of lamb chops with a little bit of a twist, garlic and a new herb I had not heard of. Before. Okay, so we're doing a garlic marjoram sauce with this, and I'm going to show you a little pan sauce trick. So we um, like tricks. Yes, yes, and it's really easy and really fast. Excellent. So um, the theme today is Provence. So because call, because uh, Cook Street does a lot of French and Italian cuisine, Provence is one of the regions that we like to highlight. So Say that's why in. I chose the dish for today. Got so it. I'll just get started. All right. Um, basically, we are going to start with some lamb chops. Normally, this comes in a rack like this, and the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and split the rack along where the bones give you the guideline. Easy enough. Easy enough. And then <laughs> the next piece, which is a nice little trick as well, is normally there's a membrane that covers the bone here, so you're going to want to just slice it and start scraping the bone, scraping that membrane off. And what that does is that leaves like a cleaner finish, and it's called Frenching the Bone. So another little trick. See, Things that you learn That's why you Street. are the pro, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we will start here. I'm going to go ahead and light us up. You take that everywhere you go, I bet. Everywhere, yes. It's in the back <laughs> your, of my car. Your friend, yeah, your friends, your friends count on you for meals. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we are going to sear these in a butter sauce. Got it. Well, sear these in butter first, and then we'll make our pan sauce. So All right. We'll just go ahead and get this started. So, so, the, so I was going to say, the minute we have left, you want to sear them, and then the sauce goes on top, or do you sear the meat with the sauce itself? So basically what will happen is you'll sear the meat, and what you want to do is you want to sear the meat until it's medium rare, and you'll know that by when you press your tongs on the meat and it bounces back just enough. That's the trick. That's the trick. And then what we'll do is deglaze the pan, and I have some wine... So we probably don't have time today, but deglaze Got the it. pan. Go ahead and add your marjoram and garlic sauce that I have blended here. Okay. Add a little beef stock, and then we'll cook it all down. And that's essentially your pan sauce, which is great. So this is one-stop cooking, so to speak, in a way. Pretty much. You can do it in one pan, which is great. Now, if you want to do this on the grill, I would recommend go ahead and making a type of pesto. So taking your marjoram and garlic and olive oil, um, blending it maybe with some... Pine nuts, toasted Excellent. pine nuts. Excellent. Coat your lamb and Looks then go good. ahead and put it on the grill. Well, let's let people know the recipe is on our website, thedenverchannel.com. And are you back next hour, am I correct? I am. So All we'll right. do ratatouille next hour. Wonderful. All right, Chef Terry, thanks very much.